What's up everyone, Larry here from a Joyful Noise Music Studio in Fenton and welcome to Tour Tips and Tricks. <laughs> And of course, everyone needs to be subscribing to this channel, following the updates, notifications. We've got a blog coming out too to give you even more details about info like this because you need to get your band together. You need to get the band started and at the Joyful Noise Music Studio, we'd be happy to help you or at least get you videos like this where we can give you the tips on how to be prepared to be a touring musician. And even if you're starting out on tour for the first time or just doing a little power weekend, some of these tips and tricks are gonna have more details that are more relevant to driving on the road. So I'd be, I was sure to put those details in our Triple T blog, Tours Tips and Tricks. The link for that is below. And tip number three is going to be getting yourself a fly rig, as they call it here. This is the Temple Audio Duo 17. I have reviewed this up on the channel, so be sure to check that link below for that. Uh, but this rig gets my entire amplifier and tone in one package, as you've seen many times before in other tour videos, I'm sure. But uh, for me personally, I can't afford necessarily for some of these tours to bring my amplifier and my other pedal board with me. So I'll bring something like this that slides into my luggage just fine. And the reason I put it in my luggage and not my carry-on bag is because of my power supply. A lot of TSA people don't really like how large of a battery this is. So I just avoid that trouble altogether. And I slide this bad boy in its case inside my checked bag luggage. I've never had any problem with it here. But we've got the Line 6 HX Stop. Of course, all kinds of tones and variations that you can get with this bad boy. You've seen reviews on the web and it's a pretty good product. Really good and convenient, I will say. Uh, even if it's not a preference, this is a great, great tool and I'm happy to be able to use it. Um, also from Line 6, we've got the G30 Wireless. That's what my guitar obviously goes into. Comes into this volume control here, which doubles as a mute, obviously, when I want to make sure that my uh, guitar is in tune with my little screen here. I reviewed this, so make sure to check the link below for a review of this on the channel. Uh, but this is a lifesaver, okay? Pedal board saver as far as space is concerned. As you can tell with my fly rig, I don't really have a lot of pedals anyway. But even when I switch over to my other pedal board, this thing is a lifesaver for space because the tuner is built into it. So I love that feature. And of course, the Walrus Audio Aos clean power supply. Highly, highly recommend that. I've never had a problem with that, and it's a great company. Customer service is fantastic. So this builds my fly rig. And if you're not able to bring your entire amplifier cabinet and heads and stuff like that, well, build yourself a fly rig such as this. Make sure to bring plenty of patch cables in addition. And uh, this will set you up just fine for a show. Don't forget about a Joyful Noise Music Studio merch available on our website, link in the description below, or stop by the studio anytime and pick up your Joyful merch today. But that's all the time we're going to take for today. Thanks so much for stopping by this edition of Tours, Tips, and Tricks. On behalf of a Joyful Noise Music Studio in Fenton, my name is Larry, reminding you and encouraging you to keep making noise. See you around.